Hello everyone, today is going to be a quick video on how I have this formula that I use to do EC journaling pages. So the first thing you want to do is collect your ephemera and pick a page that you want to work on. Then the second thing I do is I add a pocket or two because we're going to have um, this as a place where we can tuck in extra ephemera. And here I'm using a cardstock from a watercoloring uh, notepad. Then you want to add any items that you want visible. So this could be ephemera or pictures, um, any drawings that you want to include, anything like that. So I, here I'm journaling about a day that we went to the museum. And so I, I'm putting up a few pictures and this little penny from those penny machines. And so I knew that I wanted those items visible and I'm just putting everything that I want out first. And here I'm just using clear tape to hold the penny down. On the next page here, I'm adding a picture from the planetarium. And I really enjoy the colors in this picture. Um, so I wanted that out. And here I have another picture that I also wanted visible. So I'm sticking that on. One of my daughters made this little black envelope and she decorated it and also wrote me a little note. So I included that in here, even though it's not from that day, um, but it's perfect for these small pictures. So I tucked in extra pictures there. And then in the large pocket, I included the receipts from a ride that we got on. Now that we have most of the things that we want visible and we have a general layout going, the next thing that I do is add washi, mostly around the pictures to kind of help frame them uh, but you can also add washi to just decorate in general and to serve as journaling spots so i'm just adding a couple different strips here uh, throughout the pictures and i also used um, some paper that little mushroom that you saw um, that pattern that was just regular paper and it can serve as washi too and so now the next step is to journal I like writing to be visible. Sometimes I do hidden journaling, but I do like um, just seeing handwriting when you open a book. So I am journaling a lot in the open in this journaling spread. And if you've noticed the yellow on my hands, um, please excuse that. I was harvesting some turmeric and it just stains your fingers for days. So ignore that. Here I am adding some washi that I'm going to use as extra journaling space. You don't have to do this step. You can just journal directly on the paper, but I just wanted to contain the writing. So then that way um, it just stays more like as a writing area and then also annotating pictures which you can do journaling in that so this is all part of the writing and then the last step is to add stickers you can add whatever kind of stickers that either match what you were doing or just things that go well with the colors just whatever enhances the page and makes you happy to look at so here I'm just going through a little packet of stickers to find um, something that just made the page pop a little bit more. I added one last sticker here. And that is it. That's the end of the journaling formula that I use. And I feel like it works pretty much every time. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed and found some inspiration in it. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know below. Bye.